We're here with Ian Weekly, the founding director of All Star Athletics Management. Ian, talk a little bit about um, what your management team does. Well, at the moment, um, my management team, we work with athletes to coordinate um, their meets. We work on um, sponsorship. And um, our ultimate goal is to make sure each athlete um, maximize um, the potential and um, just continue to, you know, to grow as a, um, you know, ultimately the goal is to get each athlete to achieve um, at the highest standard, which is, you know, the Olympic Games, the World Championships. So ultimately, um, it's a management group that, um, yeah, manage the athlete career like an agency. We, you know, coordinate travel. We, um, you know, negotiate sponsorship, and um, you know, and we, we just m mentor the athletes um, to make sure that um, you know whatever they're doing, um, it's for the best interest of the athletes at all times. Take a, just to go back a little to your days and competing. Are you doing anything different for these athletes that? management teams in the past didn't used to do? Well, considered times have changed and situation has changed, um, of course one of the things that you do um, based on your experience in the past, you use that experience and you use today's experience and today's technology. Of course there are better resources right now. Um, we're able to communicate with athletes very fast. I mean back in the days we um, was just doing emails and we have to wait um, overseas. But now, um, of course, a lot of athletes um, has a phone. So one of the things we try to do um, is just to be um, very um, effective communicating to the athletes as fast as possible. Um, you know, one of the things that we do, we just try to be transparent. Um, we try to make sure that um, information the athletes actually knows. We try to educate the athlete of, um, you know everything that they're doing so the more educated the athletes are it's easier is my job you know it would be you know the questions that they would have they would already know so educating the athletes um, is one of the things that's um, very important right now based on your feedback from the athletes and things you would have heard by just traveling talking to other athletes talking to other um, representatives from other management company how satisfied would you say your athletes are with your group? Well, one thing with the management business, we try to focus mainly on, on my group. Um, you know, it's uh, individual. Everyone is an individual agency, so um, it's really, really hard to speak for them um, and speak of, um, you know, something that they might experience without knowing the facts. So one of the things um, I really just focus on just you know, make sure my athletes are always um, getting the information and um, if they want to share the information with someone else um, that they might come across, um, it's good. But it's you have to really focus on your own group. Um, you know, you're, you just have to be very um, careful because, you know, sometimes it's just a lot of um, misinformation that's out there and you don't want to... Um, <laughs> quote um, you know so that's a tough question <laughs> how, um, how did you get involved in management or why management and not the technical side coaching yeah one of the things um, for for a lot of um, the athletes um, you know when you're doing that transition into being um, the next um, phase in your career you got to really go around and see what you really good at not what you feel like doing so you really got to see look how I'm gonna if I want to be in this sport what are your strengths um, you know I I've considered myself um, I could have you know I looking to do a little bit of coaching but on the same time I feel like um, you know with me with my experience in managing real estate <laughs> and with my experience um, being an athlete so you know kind of put those together and uh, it's kind of um, the same process. You're kind of trying to serve, you know, the, the, uh, your client. So it's kind of was easy transition for me to look at real estate 
um, you know, managing properties and just look at managing athletes. The ultimate goal at the end result is to make sure that um, your clients are, you know, are happy. You know, so that's, you know, service. <laughs> Thinking about the clients or trying to make the clients or make sure the clients are happy. Tell us about some of the persons that you have managing in your group. Yeah. Well, currently, um, you know, I would consider myself um, an upcoming um, management agency. Um, currently, um, I have a few athletes from Barbados. Um, Ramon Gittins, World Indoor Silver Medalist. Um, you know, Barbara Pear is World Indoor Gold Medalist. Um, she's been ranked in the top 10 for several years. Um, currently managed Johnny Dutch, um, you know, and Kimberly Williams, Travis Smikes. Um, you know, I got a few athletes from the U.S., of course, Sean McLean. And, you know, the list goes on. Sade Williams, up and coming um, young sprinter from Barbados. So, you know, one of the things we're very passionate about um, each athlete and um, sometimes it's some athletes takes longer to progress. So, but the ultimate goal is, um, is how we get there. We're going to get there eventually. How would you sell your group to other athletes who maybe have management team that they are not happy with, who may be leaving college in another couple of months and want to find a good management group. How, how do you sell your group to those people? Yeah, one of the things um, that I would recommend that a lot of athletes that's looking for um, a management group, um, it's always good to talk to a few managers, you know, agents, um, you know, maybe at least two or three just to, you know, just to go through the process. Um, you know, it's just like going on a recruiting trip. Um, you want to actually um, hear what each what they're going to assist, what are they going to be their service. Um, also, um, it's also good to um, reach out to the current client and just, you know, um, ask them um, if they're happy. I mean, ask them if, you know, would you, would, if you have it to do again, would you sign with this, would you do this the same way? Those things are important, you know. It's, like I said, it's the same process. You know, um, you know your your past and you know currently you got to also see what they offered and then um you know you just kind of just also you just want to make sure that um you're comfortable with that you know you have a direct relationship with your agent you know when i say direct it's it's all about communication so you have to have a direct relationship directly with the person that you're working with um you know so you could actually you know you know, feel comfortable, build up a good trust level, and you know, because one of the good things is communication. I mean, you know, if an athlete um, is injured, so the agent sometimes it's good to know. So you know, you know, we don't put you in meat, um, or we be cautious, or we put you in meat. So communication, direct communication with the agent, and um, referral, checked out referral, and of course. Um, you know, you checked out the, um, the status, um, you know, um, you know, just to see. Of course, most of the agents are authorized to, to conduct business. And, and finally, do agents normally, or it's a standard that they sign contract, two-year, three-year, five-year contract with the athletes? And how difficult is it to get athletes to join your group or just to join a group? Well, the standard practice is, um, you know, a lot of the the agreement it's mandated by the IWF. So the IWF will have a contract that um, it's a yearly contract and it's renewed every year. So um, both parties, um, you know, the contract automatically renew if either party, if both parties happy, the contract automatically renew. So it's a yearly basis. Now, um, recruiting, um, obviously, um, recruiting is always, um, you know, hardest, the, the beginning. Um, so you recruit, and then after you recruit, then you serve. So obviously, um, in the beginning, it's always, um, you know, just to have a relationship with the athlete, just to let them know, um, you know, what I can offer, and, um, you know, to them, and then mainly, um, just to keep, um, you know, 
you know, whatever the situation is, you know, if you have a relationship, how are you going to, how it's going to work. Um, some athletes' parents are involved. <laughs> um, some athletes' coach are involved more. Some athletes uh, as a mentor that involve more. So you just got to assess those and see um, what type of athlete you're going to be dealing with. Um, you know, some athletes are, you, you got a young, you got a lot of young athletes. So you assess to see who's part of the team. You know, if it's a parent, if it's a um, coach, or if it's a mentor, and then you come up with a, you always come up with a plan, and you know, ultimate plan is to speak to the athlete and the coach to really figure out what's their goal. I mean, what we're working with. Some athletes need more time to develop, so you might be okay. We're gonna, we're not gonna put them in too much meat too early, or you know, are we gonna not travel too far? Are we going to be selective? We only want to do a few meets and gradually. So it's a process that you have to collaborate together. And some athletes might be well established where um, they already maybe as a manager before and they're looking for um, a, a new manager. So with those, some of those athletes, they somewhat, um, you know, could um, tell you about experience and, you know, you just focus on, all you could focus in on yourself that, look, I, I will, you know, do this type of job. And um, just to be honest, one of the things is just to be honest up front and um, just let the athlete know um, how the process works. It's not, um, I can't promise you anything um, before. <laughs> you know, we could, you know, you know, I could tell you what I did in the past with uh, someone else, but just to be upfront, you know, honesty. And finally, your final words to athletes, and not only athletes, but those persons you mentioned, the, the mentors, the, the, the supporters, the fans, the parents, who doesn't understand the role of an agent. Your final words to those persons. Well, one of the things, as I said, um, try it, it's always try to be, um, you know, ask questions directly um, to, the, to, the, to, the, to your team that you're working with. You know, try to communicate with the team because the most important thing is trust. If you're working with a team and you don't have trust level, then um, you find that um, you're going to try to seek information somewhere else. <laughs> so, you know, when the information that you need is right here. So trust is very important, um, you know, with anything. You know, you trust someone to do, you're putting your career in the hand and you're saying, look, I promise you that you're going to be um, transparent and you're going to be honest and you're going to be very upfront so you know that would be just continue to trust in in your team that would be the, the my final words hi my name is Shelly and Fraser Olympic and world champion for your latest track and field news log on to trackalerts.com trackalerts.com from start to finish